Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. This is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, I'm really excited about today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about all of the conduit articles. If you missed the video that we dropped yesterday, we talked about all of the different cable articles. And we talked about MC cable. We talked about AC cable. We talked about NM cable, like Romex cable. And we learned that there are so many different things in the code book that we need to know about it. Today, we're going to learn the same thing, but we're going to do it for the conduit articles. And more specifically, the raceway articles of the code book because raceways could be a bunch of different things. We call it conduit typically, so that's why I've called it the conduit articles, but really they're all a bunch of different types of raceways. So let's go ahead and jump into it. For each one of these articles, you can find the following information. If that relevant article has one of these sections, then you can read this information. If that article has a dot two section, it's going to be the definition of that type conduit or raceway. If it has a dot 10 section, it's going to have the uses permitted. Where can you install this conduit? What can you do with it? If it has a dot 12 section, it's going to have the uses not permitted. Where am I not allowed to run this conduit? How am I not allowed to do it? Also, it, if it has a dot 30 section, it's going to be the securing and supporting. And if it has the dot 80 section, it would be for ampacity, which isn't going to fit for this. I just left it on this slide from yesterday's video. It's not going to have anything to do with ampacity because we're not dealing with cables. So that would only apply to the cables. It's not going to apply to our conduits. But if your raceway has pre-built cables, you very well may have a dot 80 section which is going to deal with ampacity because there's a couple raceways we're going to talk about today that have the cable built in so that very well may be relevant now let's go ahead and jump into it so the first one is article 342 imc intermediate metal conduit 344 rmc rigid metal conduit 348 fmc flexible metal conduit 350 LFMC, liquid tight flexible metallic or metal conduit. I've always called it metallic. F liquid tight flexible metal conduit. That is going to be what we call seal tight. It's the flex with the metal, the liquid tight flex that has the metal inside of it. 352 is rigid PVC, ponyl volley chloride, which is your schedule 40s and schedule 80s. 353 is HDPE, high density polyethylene conduit. 354 is NUCC, non metallic underground conduit with conductors. Sorry, it has the conductors inside of it, so that's one of the ones that may have a dot 80 section. 355 is RTRC, reinforced thermal setting resin conduit. 356 is LFNC, liquid tight flexible non-metallic conduit. That is going to be what we call CarFlex. It's liquid tight flexible non-metallic conduit. Then we have 358. It's going to be EMT, one we're all very familiar with. That's electrical metallic tubing. And we're going to have 360 at FMT, flexible metallic tubing. 362 ENT, electrical non-metallic tubing more commonly called Smurf tube. 366, auxiliary gutters. 368, busways. 370, cable bus. 372, cellular concrete floor raceways. 374, cellular metal floor raceways. 376, metal wireways. 378, non-metallic wireways. 380, multi-outlet assembly. 382, non-metallic extensions. 384, strut type channel raceway. 386, surface metal raceway. 388, surface non-metallic raceway. 390, underfloor raceway. 392, cable trays. 393, low voltage suspended ceiling power distribution systems. 394, concealed knob and tube wiring. 396, messenger support wiring. 398, open wiring on insulators. 399, outdoor overhead conductors over 1,000 volts. And that wraps us up. 
And like I said, for all the cables, it's super important that you go check this out because the dot two sections will give you the definition of that conduit. The dot 10 will tell you where you can use that conduit and what manner you can use it. The dot 12 section will be the use is not permitted for that type raceway. Dot 30 will be the securing and supporting and dot 80 will be if there's any ampacity things that you have to consider for that raceway. Obviously, if it's going to be if there's conductors are involved or if it's a wiring method. So I hope you guys have a great day. I want you to know that I'm praying for you today. And if there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Listen, I know it gets hard out there and the world seems like it's crazy right now, but you can do it. Whatever your goal is, if you're working on your license, if you're working on your certification, if you're just now getting into the industry, it's an, one of the best times ever to get into the electrical industry. And I just want to encourage you, you can do it. You do have one person fighting in your corner. Anything I can do to help you, always just let me know. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's get to it.